since the founding fathers, the love of the land is something buried deep inside of us. It is our heritage, our history, our passion. And we are its greatest stewards. From the smallest blades of grass to the widest of nature's wonders. This is who we are. This is Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Polaris Off-Road, Think Outside, Winchester Ammunition and Firearms, The American Legend, Hayden Outdoors, the brand that sells the land. Outdoor Lending, we find the best loan for your land. Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering, Envision Design, Build. Conterra, financing American agriculture. And True Timber, the world's best-selling camo. Welcome to Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. I'm your host, Alan Treadwell. On this episode, we're in Colorado on an outstanding hunting and recreational ranch. And then it's down to Georgia to check out a wooded property with interstate frontage. Next, near Pagosa Springs, Colorado, we visit an incredible dream home in an exclusive community with unbelievable amenities, including a 55 acre stocked lake. And then it's off to South Dakota to check out a ranch with diverse landscape on the banks of the Missouri River. But first, we're in Goodland, Kansas, where I had the chance to meet up with an awesome family who I've heard a lot about and was very excited to get a chance to meet. I believe we have made it. You know, this is something I've been looking forward to, coming and meeting Caleb, his sister, and his parents, and seeing exactly what they do with these sheeps and goats. Let's go see if we can meet them. Hey guys. Hi. Am I at the right spot? Yep. You must be Caleb? Yep. Nice Caleb, I'm you. Alan. I'm Hannah. Hannah, nice to meet you. Corin. Corin, pleasure to meet you. Alan, thanks for coming. I'm Josh. Josh, nice to meet you guys. Well, I've heard a whole bunch about you guys and, and from, from Leo and Judy and how much they think about you guys and what you do with the animals here on the farm. And then you also you also do something I'm pretty passionate about, and that's yep. shoot too, right? Yep. I'm kind of looking forward to shooting a little bit, but I do want to see your animals. Are they in the barn? Yep, we can go look at them. Yeah, let's go check out. The Deccans are a family that spend countless hours traveling the country, showing sheep and goats. Each member of the family plays a very important role in the process, and I was excited to get to meet them and hear their story. So what do we have here? Is, are all these ewes or? A rams or a combination of both? Um, no, so the one you're actually petting is a weather, which is a castrated male. Okay. And then the two in the middle are ewes, which they're females. They're back in 2009. That was the year I first started. But I remember going out and picking out the sheep I wanted. From the very beginning, we always were told, don't pick people names because then you're not going to want to use them for your kids later on. So my very first year, my two sheep were named after flowers. And at the time, my two favorite flowers were marigolds and roses. So I got my first lamb when I was six as a peewee. And so whenever Hannah would go to a show, I'd go along with her with my lamb and I'd show in the peewees, which is for anyone six and under. So I, I can obviously see your trail here. It's a square. So when you show them, you, you walk them in a... Yeah, so we walk them in a square. The majority of the arenas we ever show in are sand. It helps us to make sure we walk in a square and don't cut our corners, but it also gets the sheep used to walking in something other than shavings and grass. So, so you're basically mimicking what you're going to do in the arena yep. right here on your farm? Yes. Okay, well show me how it's done and then okay. I want to try. Sounds good. We have done 4-H for 15 years because it has created leaders out of our kids. And I think the thing that has kept me going the most is it has taught them to give back. So let's go look at, show me what they're looking for. If we were a judge, what are they looking for? So this is a weather, right? So this so. is a weather. So they're looking for the big hip, the flat rack. Oh, so you look for a lamb that's 
level over the top, filled in here. How much of the competition is based on the kids and their hard work and not necessarily the animal? The showmanship class. The and showmanship that's class. Always, showmanship has always been a priority here because yeah. Because that's about the kids, right? It's Nothing. about the kids and how well they present their animals. It Showmanship sometimes levels the playing field. Yeah. You have to work hard to earn that. You can't buy that part right. of it. So when you show sheep, there's normally three different divisions, I guess you'd call it. There's market, which is judging the lamb and how well the lamb is going to do meat-wise. There's breeding, which is how well that animal is going to produce offspring. And my personal favorite is showmanship. If you put in the time and you put in the work, it's going to show in showmanship and everybody's going to appreciate that. So what are they, when they set them back, they push the legs back. And so you want them set on a rectangle. You can see where there's four, each of the legs are on like four points of a rectangle. Will you show me how to do it? Can I walk yeah. it? Okay. Left hand under his chin. Okay. Right hand behind his head. Okay. Do I keep their head up or something? Yep. Just hold their hand up and... He's pretty good about it. The sheep is literally like, if I slow down, it slows down. Yes. And I speed up, it speeds up. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, now help me. Okay, so now to set him up, so this one, grab this leg okay. and push it. Yep, so it's in line. And now grab this one, uh -huh. so you get it square. There you go. Yeah, yeah except the back legs <laughs> need to be a little wide. <laughs> 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 Get back in the barn. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah may have a few more skills doing sheep than I do. <laughs> it's 100% a family project. Anyone that tells you 4-H is not is doing it differently than we do. So, I mean, there's always sacrifices in life, but for us, I don't know that it was ever we were sacrificing anything just because it was so big of a passion. And I guess in our eyes, it's one thing that we get to do as a whole family. Yes, you make memories no matter what you're doing, but the memories we have made in our barn and at shows, I feel like will last us way longer than if we took a trip for seven days to some beach. <laughs> I'm not ready for the last day. I'm not because it has, it's been our family passion for 12 years. It is our family time. We don't vacation. Our vacations, we joke about our vacation hotspots or place like Smith Center, Kansas and Hill City, Kansas, and Hayes, and Hutchinson. They're not most people's vacation hotspots, but it's our family time together. Our parents have been our biggest supporters from day one. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but we were at State Fair, and Hannah just won reserve champion in showmanship. And I was in the ring showing, and I looked outside to see my mom crying because she was so excited. And I remember looking over at Hannah and she was speechless. She had no idea what to say. And as she was walking out of the arena, she saw mom and I remember she about let go of her lamb when she went over to hug mom. And I said, that's probably my favorite memory. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. The Winchester XPR, experience performance. At Hayden Outdoors, we truly value our team of professional land brokers and agents. They are knowledgeable individuals, share our love of the land, and are dedicated to excellent work ethics and attention to detail. We are currently seeking experienced land professionals from coast to coast to join the Hayden team. If you believe you're a good fit, please contact us at 866-741-8323. We look forward to hearing from you. Conterra Ag Capital isn't just another lending institution. We are a nationwide network of ag experts ready to meet the financial needs of farmers and ranchers in rural America. Conterra understands ag loans are never one size fits all. We listen to our clients so we can get the whole picture, not just numbers on a spreadsheet. 
We are there with boots on the ground. Conterra, real people, real ag experts. Visit ConterraAg.com to learn more. The Winchester Model 70, the rifleman's rifle. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by True Timber, the world's best-selling camo. Now we're headed to Moffat County, Colorado to check out an outstanding hunting and recreational ranch listed by agent Lonnie Gustin, AC Hunting Ranch. The AC Hunting Ranch is an outstanding hunting and recreational property consisting of approximately 2,603 acres that are made up of aspen bowls, several deep draws, springs, and live water. Located northeast of Craig, Colorado and sitting in Hunting Unit 4, the ranch qualifies for numerous deer and antelope vouchers and is in an over-the-counter elk unit. The bottom portion of the ranch consists of live water from Willow Creek with willows and beaver ponds throughout, while the upper portion transforms into thick aspen draws. The ranch has great spring, summer, and fall pastures and could easily support 150 pair of cattle. This ranch is an excellent opportunity and the perfect mix of a working ranch and a recreational paradise. Next, we visit Heath Thompson and Jackson Gentry in Liberty County, Georgia, to tour a property they have listed, Midway Tract. Located next to I-95 outside Midway, Georgia, this property is completely wooded with frontage on the interstate. The frontage of the property is a quarter mile from a Liberty County boat ramp for Jones Creek, a saltwater inlet about 17 miles from the coast. The land sits flat with a slight roll to the southern end of the property, forming several good home sites with a good road through the property. The woods are a diverse stand of natural growth hardwoods and pines along with several oak bottoms. Scrapes and rubs from white-tailed deer cover the property and ducks can be found in the flooded oaks. The property would be perfect to clear pastures for horses and wildlife, put in trails for ATV riding, develop homes, or hunt it as it is. The options are endless. And finally, we're in Archuleta County, Colorado, where Agent Greg Little has a beautiful estate with a one-of-a-kind home just outside of Pagosa Springs. This is Black Bear Pines. With a half a lifetime of searching between Canada and Mexico for the consummate mountain ranch property, the quest ended in the very heart of the San Juan Mountains at Hidden Valley Ranch, just outside Pagosa Springs, Colorado. The town of Pagosa Springs was recently voted by Outside Magazine as one of the best small towns in America. Hidden Valley Ranch, developed by the Bass family of Texas, is a one-of-a-kind gated community of roughly 1,630 acres, developed into select 35-acre parcels, surrounding 300 acres of common recreation area, with a center point being a custom-designed 55-acre private lake, stocked and managed as an incredible trophy trout fishery. The ranch lies about five miles north of Pagosa Springs on county-maintained access, nestled against the 1.8 million acre San Juan National Forest. Fully e-gated for security, the ranch parcels were designed for privacy and optimal views. The lake was custom designed for the specific purpose of producing world-class trout. Recently completed in 2021, this roughly 10,500 square foot turnkey masterpiece of timber frame and stone construction has no equal. The finest contractors available recently completed this four year dream and two year build, utilizing state of the art architectural design. Combined with energy efficient planning, this magnificent residence is truly something to behold. Family gatherings, general entertaining or corporate retreats You'll be set with six bedrooms, six full baths, bunk room with six custom built-in bunks, and an additional three and a half baths. State-of-the-art climate-controlled heat and air, eight fireplaces, an elevator, and an attached and heated four large vehicle garage all add to the rare combination of sophistication and comfort the residence provides. In addition, Black Bear Pines Recreational Entertainment provided includes a state-of-the-art theater room ready for your personally designed equipment, family game room, custom chandeliers accentuate the beauty of the residence, five different wine beverage centers are located throughout, with a separate wine room with sub-zero wine storage, complemented by two full wet bars with a keg dispenser, ice machines, and dishwashers. The bathrooms exude luxury, boasting steam showers, air tubs, 
and heated bathroom floors. Most every room provides large mountain views. The kitchen is a marvel in its own right, and the professional gourmet chef would feel more than accommodated. The outdoor kitchen, located in the large arched timber frame pavilion, has similar features, all overlooking the lake and South San Juan Mountains. Pagosa Springs is a quaint town of roughly 2,500 in population, most noted for its developed hot springs which are open to the public. Wolf Creek Ski Area is famously known for some of the best powder skiing and snowboarding in the entire country, as well as the most snow in Colorado. The town is surrounded by millions of acres of national forest. For more information on this property and a private qualified showing, please contact Greg Little at 970-946-0374. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the American legend. Goodland, Kansas, 1976 is where it all began for Hayden Outdoors Real Estate. Over 200 brokers and agents from coast to coast were still going strong. If you want to sell your farm, ranch, hunting property, needing a land valuation, or in the position to purchase your next property, give our team a call at 866-741-8323. That's 866-741-8323. Or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. Hayden Outdoors is the brand that sells the land. Winchester USA Ready Defense is a select grade of personal defense ammunition that offers a unique combination of stopping power, penetration, and reliable expansion. The innovative hex vent rigid insert shields the hollow point by channeling soft material for positive expansion and energy transfer. Built with match grade primers for trusted reliability. Be ready when you need it most with USA Ready Defense. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Conterra, financing American agriculture. Now let's head up to Gregory County, South Dakota to check out an incredible ranch that borders over a thousand acres of state land, has a newly constructed home and three and a half miles of Missouri River frontage. Listed by agents Jake Highland and John Harity, this is Scout Butte Ranch. Scout Butte Ranch is roughly 2,000 acres and sits up on top of the banks of the Missouri River. This ranch is different in the fact that it has a high point on the ranch that you can overlook miles up and down the Missouri River. There's a beautiful custom built home. It's two bedrooms, two baths. It's built in 2018. Custom cabinets, custom wood floors. The ranch also has a very unique custom cabin. It's overlooking one of the bays in the Missouri River. What makes this property really unique is the fact that you are about one minute, two minutes down the road to a public boat launch, giving you the option to not just enjoy the recreational aspects that the ranch has to offer, but also be able to launch your boat. You can go hundreds of miles up and down the Missouri River and enjoy one of the best fisheries in the United States. As you travel around the ranch, you'll see a lot of turkeys. There's a really strong turkey population in this part of South Dakota. The deer hunting is second to none. Gregory County actually is one of the top counties in the state of South Dakota for Boone and Crockett whitetail. The bluffs on the Missouri River offer a unique habitat. And the fact that you have really good cover and all the cedar draws and there's ag fields intermixed around all the cedar draws. Scout Butte Ranch is really diverse in the fact that you have about three and a half miles of shoreline that borders the ranch and there's even a piece of deeded ground that goes all the way down to the banks of the river. The topography offered on Scout Butte matches what you're generally gonna see along the banks of the Missouri River, which is big draws, cedar bottoms, and then there's hardwood oak bottoms. That does two things. One, it's great deer habitat, but two, it can be tough to get around a property like that if you don't have a good road system that takes you through it. And Scout Butte has a phenomenal road system that takes you through the ranch. And what makes it really nice is you can travel around almost corner to corner in a machine on this ranch. Scout Butte Ranch isn't just a recreational property. It's set up phenomenally for grazing and has been grazed over the last 20 years. It's in three different pastures. It's got a great water source on it. There's two live creeks that run year round. Over the last couple of years, South Dakota has been struggling in drought conditions. And what makes this ranch unique is I can be on this property and 
September, October, November, and the creeks are still running and the ponds are still holding water. So for a ranch of this magnitude to be able to hold water year round really sets it up great for not just the wildlife, but also you know from a cattle standpoint. The fact that you have phenomenal turkey hunting in the spring, world-class fishing during the summer, family boating, the hunting in the fall, it truly is a year-round ranch. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Outdoor Lending offers a consultative approach to farm and recreational land lending. With relationships in mind, Outdoor Lending's concierge service matches the lender with the appropriate lending partner. Outdoor Lending, where we find you the best loan for your land. Learn more at OutdoorLending.com. It's what we've been waiting for all year. All the preparation, the early mornings and late nights, hot, cold, wet or windy. Mother Nature isn't doing anyone any favors. From the piney woods of the south to the old growth hardwoods of the east, through the ocean of Midwestern prairies and down deep into the marsh, you simply won't find more effective hunting camo. Gear for hunters, by hunters. Gear that works just as hard as those wearing it. Learn more about the world's best-selling camo at truetimber.com. The Slash Broken Box Ranch offers 1,400 acres just 15 minutes north of Steamboat Springs, Colorado and features world-class hunting, fishing, and excellent livestock and hay production. The Elk River flows over a mile through the ranch and offers exceptional fishing and historic water rights. The ranch boasts a 3,000 square foot home with ample outbuildings for your storage needs. Elk hunting on the ranch is excellent with over-the-counter tags plus good hunting for mule deer, antelope, and upland game. For more information, call 866-741-8323 or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Outdoor Lending. We find the best loan for your land. After meeting up with Caleb, Hannah, and the rest of the family, I was anxious to head out to the local range where Caleb was having practice with his high school clay target team. Goodland Gun Club. We're gonna come out here and meet Caleb and a bunch of his teammates and maybe shoot around to skeet with them, see if I can't give them some pointers or something, but it's just so cool to see these younger kids involved in the community, whether it is raising sheep or shooting on the shooting team, just getting together, having some responsibility. It's amazing, man. I just love being a part of it and hopefully I can help them out just a little bit today. Who else shooting, just the three of us? Well, it might be the three of us, and there's a few other families here that might shoot too. Perfect, that'd be great. Winchester double A's, man. That's what I've been shooting for years and years and years at Skeet Field. I don't think there's a better round for Skeet. Are you the pro shooter here? I, you know, in a former in a former lifetime, I might have been. Oh, okay. It's been a long time. <laughs> Full. Full. All right. I guess maybe I can still hit a few. Points too close. Whole like points. Too, whole points too close. The target's outrunning him. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Having to come from behind it. When you get your whole point, see, is too. He, he cheated because he started before the target come out. But you had your whole point too close, and the target beat you, which causes panic instantly. Just move your whole point out just a little bit. There's two things in skeet that are key. 80% of the game is foot position and whole points. Most generally on singles and stuff, your break point is going to be about the center stake. On your doubles, you're gonna move it in where it's in this area right here. Once your foot position is set, the most important thing is your hole point. In theory, what you wanna have happen is when you set your gun right here and you call pull, you want the target, as you start moving the gun, you want the target to basically be at lead as you start moving the gun. So you're never, you're never way out here waiting on it and you're never coming in from behind it to catch it. Does that make sense? Pull, pull, pull. Perfect. It was an absolute blast to be able to get out there and shoot with Caleb and his buddies. They were already great shots, but it was fun to just be able to watch them and give some fine tune adjustments from station to station. This station is all about hole point. You see that bottom left corner of the hole where the house is at in the top right corner, that diagonal line. If you make that diagonal line, it comes outside about the corner of the house, right? 
So come out and then come outside of, of the house about as far from that window to the corner of the house. Again, on that same line, that's your hole point, pull. It's all about hole point on this station. That's 100% hole point. It truly was a pleasure getting to hang out with Caleb and getting to know his awesome family. You know, in today's world, the kind of bond that I saw with their family is a rarity. All the time spent together, working hard, making memories, and having success at a hobby they all fell in love with is truly why we love going and visiting folks like the Deccans. For more information on any of our great properties for sale, please call 866-741-8323 or visit us online at HaydenOutdoors.com.